we're back and we're so freaking excited to bring to you august readathon announcement starting off when you do this readathon please make sure you hashtag readathon in your videos your blog posts or your Instagram or just anywhere so that we can find and see what you guys have come up with for your TBRs. So what is Readathon? Good question. I am about to tell you what it is and I'm so excited. So Readathon was created back in 2017 by my best friend Manda, which you can find them at Manda the Biblio. And I've joined in the like, what? The last four or five years now, I think, I've been doing this. I want to, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a while since I've actually joined uh, to help out, and um, it's been a ride. It has been a journey that I loved, and I can't wait to keep going. Readathon is a month long readathon that is held. February, May, August, and November. The goal for Readathon is to thin out your TBR. And believe me, I need to do that. <laughs> um, so I kind of, yesterday when, okay, I'm filming this on Thursday, so Wednesday, um, I kind of went through all my books and I found out I have 293 unread books. So, this month I am fully looking at all my own books to get reading in this, in this readathon. So, let's hope that happens. While being that said, you most likely should read off your own shelves. However, we look at everybody almost everybody owns an e-reader and you got a lot of books on there too. So between your own shelf and your ebook, combine them and you can read from both. Okay, so let's just jump right into the challenges. I hope I explained all that right. If not, just comment down below any questions or message me or Amanda and uh, we'll let you know. So, the challenges that I'm going to name off, um, I'm going to start with the reading challenges and then go with the self-care challenges. These are not in order. These are just ones I've listed over here on my computer and I'm just going to read to you. <laughs> so what you see on the bingo board, I'm not reading from the bingo board. Speaking of the bingo board, this is our lovely bingo board this month, um, this coming month. And yeah, I'm excited. I was kind of like looking for something for the fact that like August is the end of summer and I kind of want to kick off the end of summer with a summer vibe. So that's what it is. So let's get into these challenges. <laughs> Anticipated read. So this is something that you're uh, anticipating reading for the next half of the year. Um, most likely because one rule for Readathon is you do not read any new books that you buy in August. So anything from May, we're not even in May, from July above, like July, after July, uh, you can read. So if you got an ARC or you got like an Owl Crate, or like any subscription box book, then you can put this one as it. Or if you have any anticipated reads from your own bookshelf or your uh, e-reader, then I suggest you use that too. Highest rated. So technically on like Goodreads or Storygraph, go and see what your highest rated book is or like what you think is the highest rated on your shelf type thing. You can take it as you go. Uh, you don't have to really put the rules in on this one. You just kind of good read, story graph, or 
do you think the priority orange tree is your high highest rated on your shelf? <laughs> you know? Um, so kind of do you, do you. Comfort genre. So comfort genre is just like something that you always pick up, like one genre that you just will not pass up on reading. Mine would most likely be fantasy. So I have a lot of fantasy books. <laughs> Let's get reading those. <laughs> Graphic novel or manga. So this is easy. I don't really have any new graphic novels or manga, but if I did tend to use this prompt for me, I would reread an older one. Oh, scratch that. I just thought of something. I just bought uh, three the first three mangas in the promised neverland to read to my son <laughs> and i bought that this month in july so i can read that in august okay this is not supposed to be a recommendation or like picking my tbr but i guess i'm i'm already doing that 12 books from 12 friends now um not a lot of people probably are doing this so if you are not doing this one, then I suggest you maybe ask a friend on what book they would want you to read. Um, however, yeah, 12 books, 12 friends. It is, I think this is like the second year it's been happening. And I know I have a lot of books I still need to get to from that. So not physical so this one can be uh do not read a physical book so again your ebook or like e-reader your uh if you have an audiobook alone because i know with me i read physical and audiobooks so you know um i'm trying to think of what else there is but i'm drawing a blank so more or less e-readers and audiobooks would be perfect for this prompt random number page so technically you go to a random number generator you put in like from say what like 200 to 500 pages and then whatever number it gives you you have to try to find a book that is that many pages if you can't find one exactly that then we're okay with you going like five under five above type thing um just get as close as you can get as as close as you can that that's what we're looking at <laughs> own voices so obviously there's a lot of own voices uh out there that we should be reading and uh I think I have a couple on my bookshelves that I can find, but it is ones that you can look for and uh, even Google or Goodreads has that little um, list of own voices that you can find your books at. So I'm hoping we can find a lot and maybe read them throughout the month. Single word title. So this one's obviously easy. You just find one with one word, <laughs> one single word on there next in series so the next in the series is just like what you need to finish get in the middle of a series i have lots of series i need to actually get through so this one would be perfect especially if i want to restart a series so i can finish off the series by the end of the year uh aka a court of thorns and roses or um from blood and ash you know i need to, i need to do those ones but anyway i'm so sorry for the, the kids noises <sighs> i really hope you can hear me <laughs> lgbtq plus so we always love to add this one into any of our readathons because it is very important for you to keep reading these types of books so i'm hoping you find one and you can read one and the last one is for readathon host recommendations. So I'm excited to recommend you guys some books. I'll probably have a video coming of what books I recommend, which is exciting. So keep a lookout for that. Um, if you somehow don't see this video, like this one coming up of the recommendations, you can always 
message myself or Amanda on what our recommendation would be for you and we can go from there. Okay, next is self-care prompts. Do a non-reading hobby. So obviously we're not reading every single time you turn around. So like you're either video gaming, knitting, crocheting, uh, what's another thing people do? <laughs> I was like so good on that. I tend to video game. So I most likely will do video gaming or maybe come up with something new. I don't know. I'll just, I'll, I'll figure it out. Join a reading sprint. So I don't know where I'm doing reading sprints this time around. I usually do it over on Twitter. Um, but to be honest, Twitter is not my best friend right now. I'm not really... You know, it's a, ugh. Uh, but I do sprints mostly on Discord at the moment. So maybe I'll just go over there and do them. I would possibly do live ones here, but I'm having trouble with the fact that my computer is, it, it's not looking okay. It is like on the verge of dying. So if I do live sprints, I will, I will for sure let you know in the future. Listen to music. So, um, I, like, everybody listens to music. I'm going to admit that one right now. Like, you don't have to listen actual music. You can listen to, like, Disney movie music or hardcore music. Any music will work. I'm currently in love with this one called Daydream and, um, other ones I found so I can't wait to blare my music while I clean and listen to it or have a dance party read for 30 minutes a day so we like to add this one in here so that we know you're getting reading time in watch a new show or movie so this one uh, I am determined to go and buy the new Fast X movie because I am in love and I'm gonna cry because my lover has been passed away for like nine years so anyways yeah watch a movie watch a new, new tv show you know uh Get that TV time in. <laughs> Continue a TV show or a podcast. I don't really listen to much podcast anymore. <laughs> uh, I used to once in a while, but I don't now. So if I continue a TV show, it'd probably be like Outlander or um, any other ones that I need to continue and possibly finish at some point. Maybe Young Sheldon. I can watch that with my youngest. Declutter something. So we all need to declutter something in our house or our minds, aka you can like write things down or something. So when you declutter, I'm looking at like declutter your bookshelf, declutter a spot in the house that is just like overflowing with junk, aka my basement. You don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see it, to be honest. I don't want to see it. Um, but yeah, declutter. It's something that we usually do uh, every few months on Readathon, and it is one thing that is really good to have. Self-care day. I don't have to really say much. You can do whatever on this day. Whatever, whatever you think is self-care, do it. Monthly reset. So monthly reset is like resetting your month. So like, you know... <sighs> Like, uh, if you need to reset your goals or you need to reset, um, just your schedule or like how you're doing things and it's not working out. So it's kind of reflecting on the month, um, or the month for the next month type thing. Date night. So this one is very important to me for the month of August will be my husband and I's 12th year anniversary for our wedding. So we are definitely getting rid of our kids and we're having a date night. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just 
you can do a date night with yourself, with your husband, with your friend, with your pet, anything is classified as a date night. As long as you do like a movie, a game night, um, eating out or making yourself some food and just enjoying some reading time, maybe adding in to that. <laughs> Go for a walk or sit by the window. So we know not everybody can get out, including myself. Uh, so sitting by the window, like an open window, uh, would be helpful because then you're getting fresh air. Uh, or go for a walk. I've been trying my best to get in my house. So I've been trying to take my dog for a walk. Um, usually it takes like five, ten minutes, but that's that's roughly what I can do. Um, so yeah, that's really easy. And the last one is to make a summer dessert. So I don't bake, which is totally okay. So what we want you to do is if you bake, then you bake. If not, I do no bake, so I'm going to probably make like a no bake cheesecake that looks summery or just some other summer type dessert will most likely happen. And then I'll scoot this way. We also have the uh, Instagram photo challenge, which is right here. Um, I'm not going to name every single challenge in this one because that's like 31 days. So that is the challenge. We will have that one and the next thing I'm going to say, plus the bingo board, all in one area so you can grab it either on my blog post, on Manda's um, card. I believe they are making one. I'm going to have to figure that one out, <laughs> but I will link everything down in the description below so you can have all the resources. So the next thing I thought of was a fun idea to do a little challenge for everybody. I looked at the fact, one, we're literally going on, I think, five or six years of Rita Thin right now, and it is amazing. It's amazing. Um, or maybe it's seven years. I keep forgetting. Oh. Anyways, so the next one, I'll show a photo here, it is the read -a thin challenge. So all you have to do is find one thin, and I mean the thinnest book on your bookshelf. And you can either make a reel, make a short, make a small little video, or take a photo of it. And you can post it anywhere you want or in the Discord for us to see. And it's just showing off your thinnest book on your shelf. That is it. That is Read a Thin August and I'm so excited for this one. I'm gonna actually start planning today. Today is Thursday. You'll see this on Saturday so I should have everything planned in already. If not, something got in my way aka children, husband, uh, reading, um, or I just didn't get to it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and comment down below if you plan to join Read a Thin August. And I will, yeah, see you when I post my next video. So, bye guys. <laughs>